Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me for this no stopping, keep moving, get out of your comfort zone pyramid workout. This is a kick butt cardio conditioning day using a jump rope. You'll dig deep, but time will fly by as we build our intervals and take them back down. Now let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a, a 45 minute workout, mostly cardio focused. There are push ups and squats, but we feel a high heart rate today with our jump rope. So make sure that you have a jump rope with you. If you don't, no worries. If you're not friends with your jump rope, that's okay. We'll just ghost rope. We'll make sure we get our shoulders and our arms involved and we'll just uh, ghost rope through this, okay? Some of us may need that just because of space as well. Let's go ahead and warm up. I'm gonna start you with some shoulder rolls just to get those warmed up. So I want you to bring those shoulders up towards your ears and then forward and down. Up towards the ears, forward and down. There you go. Up and around, we'll just do a few of these. We're gonna move into our calves, our lower, leg to get, uh, lower legs to get them warmed up as well. Just preparing our body for this workout, which I am super excited about. There's not a lot of rest. We have some Zabatas mixed in um, with 10 second rest, but really we're just gonna keep moving up down. So I wanna show you some variations and some modifications to go through as well on this one, because it's a quick, fast pace. We're gonna reverse this now. So I want you to reach up to, towards those ears, Bring it back as far as you can and down. Up towards the ears, not real fast, down and back. Up and back. We're gonna rock heel to toe. I wanna make sure we leave enough room here for me to talk about what we need to change so that you know what you're doing and we can just keep moving. To modify today, it's a lot. We're gonna go up pyramid style. We're gonna keep increasing our time and then come back down. So. If you're tired, especially on the jump rope, because a four minute jump rope is not easy for a lot of us, it is tough. I'll show you how to mix it up while we're doing it with jumpy jacks, different things. But the other thing you could do is work 30 on, 30 off, or a minute on, minute off to get there, okay? Rock from heel to toe here with me, just a few more. Warming up the ankles, the feet, the calves, that lower leg here just a bit. All right, real quick, we're gonna walk out now into a plank, just kind of engage the core, get the shoulders going again and back up. So walk out here with me, bend those knees into those hamstrings here. Walk out high, I want toes in. I want you to think about pulling the belly button towards the spine, squeezing the thighs, okay? We're nice and tight. Then I want you to take that backstroke arm up and around. If that's too much, maybe we reach out, maybe we just pull up but get onto one hand there, or one arm, and walk it back up. Good job, small back bend. Here we go, back out again. Same thing, draw in, tighten, squeeze. Engaging core muscles here, around, back up. Here we go, small back bend. On this one, we're gonna stay put in that high plank, so walk it out into a high plank. Bring your shoulders over the wrist or fingertips just a bit, and we're gonna go rock back, and push forward into the wrist just a bit, warming them up, just getting them loose, forward back. Because we have push-ups today from the floor, hand release push-ups, so I wanna make sure those wrists are ready. There you go, back and forth, nice and gentle, nice work. Let's come to our knees, bring our fingertips back towards us here, and same thing, rock forward and back, just a bit here. That's it, nice and easy. Nice and gentle. All right, give them a little twist here and there. Let's go ahead and jog in place. Again, just bringing that heart rate up, getting the, the uh, lower legs, the lower limbs kind of moving as well. Push on that wrist, open it up a little bit if you feel any tightness with those push-ups that we're gonna do today. All right, 10 seconds. You're, um, we have squat jumps coming up. Remember, you don't have to jump with that. You can just squat, all right? And then we have a sit up today that I'm also going to talk about. So let's go ahead. We have jump squats or squats going. We are getting started. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest here. We'll have our push ups as well. Just follow my lead on this. If you want to know how this is going, look at the description. I usually try to lay out the whole workout so you can see it there. Time, rest. 10 seconds down for our hand release push ups. We're going all the way to the floor from our toes or from our knees, okay? But you're gonna come to a dead stop. Here we go. All the way down, release your hands, push back up. That's it. Dead stop push up. If you can do full push ups, I really want you to focus on keeping these thighs off the floor and passing through the chest and not the thighs. 
For some of us, we're still learning. It's okay if you kind of snake off those legs, but be careful. Try not to. All right, jump ropes up. One minute. So we just did a minute Tabata with our 20-10, 20-10. Here we go. Jump rope, ghost rope, whatever you need to do. Get those shoulders, arms rotating if you're ghost roping. One minute here. Don't fight your rope. This whole workout, I have those days. Don't fight it. Put it down, ghost rope. So that you can get something out of this, you can get that heart rate up. If we spend most of our time untangling from the rope, we're not gonna feel much of a workout today. We might feel more frustrated by <laughs> the workout than anything. We're halfway on this. We're gonna go down to a frogger type sit up, okay? So we're coming up on our tailbone. That's not for everybody. Sometimes we feel a lot of lower back pressure there, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do a reverse crunch and said maybe would be a better option. So there are a couple different options today. Here we go. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Let's go with the modified version on our first 15 seconds. Next one, I'll take you through the frogger. So up here, just a reverse crunch with bent knees, right? Trying to get the shoulder blades up and the hips as we crunch in here. There you go. We're back to jump squats. Remember, no rest, we're moving. This is 20 seconds of work here. If you don't wanna jump, find your squat. Air squat, okay? It's perfectly fine, it's good work. Heart rate's gonna go up because we're using the large muscles of our legs and our glutes. It's all good. Three, two, and one. Push-ups down to the floor. Here we go. 20 seconds, hand release. All the way down, all the way up with that release. Three, two, and one, here we go. Push. On your push-ups, think about looking out in front just slightly, keeping that head, neck, and spine in, in line. A lot of times I see this, the drop, or I see this, okay? Try to get it in line as much as you can. Three, two, and one, good. So to make up our two minutes here, that's a minute with our 10 second rest, we're doing this again. We're gonna keep building. You're gonna love it, here we go. Squat jumps, 20 seconds. They don't have to be jumps. And we can change it up. Maybe you wanna do one set with jumps and one set, or one set without. It's all good, we're working, we're moving, we're challenging ourselves. So if you can jump, but you can't jump for all of them, just doing it, changing it, will make you better, okay? Rest, we're down for push-ups. We've got this. It's a great cardio piece for any kind of mix-up. If you're getting tired of your walking, you're running, here we go, push up. Plus, we have this upper body strength added in today, which is great, because we don't get a lot of that with our normal day-to-day -day cardio. There we go. Push, come on. And push, Whew. That's it, if you're from your toes, I want you to try to keep those um, hips slightly off and thighs. Back to jump rope oh, team, two minutes. Here's an idea, 30 on, 30 off. Watch the clock in the corner. Just go 30, 30, 30, 30. Still getting a minute in, but with a little rest, and that's okay today. Or you can even do a minute here, and that's all you have for jump rope and rest and meet us back for core. So our core today is going up too. With our pyramid, we have to increase time. So we're going 30 seconds on this next one. Then 45. At our peak today, we'll have four minutes of Tabata work. That's eight little uh, sets there between squat jumps and push-ups. We'll have four minutes of jump rope. Okay, that's a lot and then we'll have our minute at work. So we will peak there and work back down. Constantly moving. Whew. One minute of work here. In case you've forgotten, jump rope is a great, terrific form of cardio. I find that a lot of my clients with knee issues, you can skip, that feels better. And I'm going to here for just a minute. You can play with it. 40 seconds to go. Anyways, there are a lot of clients who find that stairs, running, 
Some of that stuff kind of bothers the knees. Jump rope is great. Jump rope can work. There we go, 20 seconds. Woo! And just like that, just with our second little round here, we are into it, feeling it. Heart rate increasing. Eight seconds here. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Abs, 30 seconds, we're down. Remember, we can go, whoops, here, with a reverse crunch if you want. Keeping that back gets the floor. For those who want to, follow me into a full, what I call a frogger sit up. There's different ones, but this is just what I call this. 12 seconds. All right, all the way up and down, but you've got to draw that navel towards the spine. Protect that lower back as we come up high here. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, back to jump squats. Three minutes, this means we have six of these. So three squat jumps, three push-ups. All right, are you catching on? If not, don't worry. Some of you don't care. That's okay. You just want to follow along. Three, two, and one push-ups. All the way down. Here we go. You got this. We're going to keep that heart rate elevated. This is a cardio workout today. Three, two, and one with a little bit of upper body strength sprinkled in here. There we go. Come on. Up, down. Woo, that's it. Release, dead stop to push, dead stop to push. Easily can be done from our knees. So good, okay? Or find an incline off a bench or a platform, couch, anything you can do. Nice work there. Jump squats again. A couple more rounds of this. Three, two, and one. If you need some water today, try taking it during our 10 second breaks here, okay? Keep moving for the rest. You might see me pull mine over here a little bit closer as we keep going. Here we go. Remember, squatting is fine here. We don't have to do that squat jump. Three, two, and one. Good push-ups all the way down. Enjoy your 10 second break here. It goes quick. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Woo! That's it, come on. Good 45 minute workout today. Nice mix up. I talk to my clients a lot about this. I have a lot of great walkers or runners, people who like their cardio and they kind of stick with it. It's always good to change it up. Rest, change it up. This is a great change up. We have a little bit of strength, a whole lot of cardio. Um, kind of shock the body, get it out of its comfort zone. As our body gets more comfortable with what we're doing, it doesn't have to work as hard. You know, you might go out and walk that first mile or two mile, and it's tough. And then three, and then four. It just gets easier and easier. And walking is nothing to you. You could do that every day. And I'm not saying walking is bad. I want you to walk every day. Steps are good. Here we go, rest down to the floor. Five. If we're trying to get past the plateau, and we've learned to get, you know, we're more conditioned, we're in better shape. Here we go. After those push-ups. Woo! It is better to um, mix it up, okay? And you'll see things go in a different direction, which is good. Whew. Three, two, and one. All right, moving on here. Three minutes of jump rope. Now remember, we're only going up to four and back down, so we're already almost to our mountain top. Three minutes is no joke. Some of us, do well with a jump rope for three minutes. Some of us <laughs> will flub up here. <clears throat> Remember, if you're fighting the rope more than you are jumping, an occasional flub up is okay. But do continue to do that, put the rope down. As we tire, that happens more often. Find a little jog. You can kick out in front here a little bit too. A little boxer's jump rope. You can also do jumping jacks in your jump rope. All right, so have some fun with it. Mix it up. I personally like to mix it up from a skip to a jump, to a skip to a jump, just to give my calves a little breather. All right. There you go. We're at two minutes here, team. 
two minutes, one minute down, you're doing awesome. Keep working. Woo! That's it. This is a great, great workout. You could always substitute the minute jump for different exercises instead of jump rope. Chose jump rope because we could stay in place with it and really bring up that heart rate. But you could do anything. You could jump on your treadmill, sprint it out. You could jump on a rower, bike, head down the street for a run down and back, you know? Maybe 200 meters or whatever. Have some fun with it. Woo. Good work. Keep it coming. If you're ghost roping, I want those shoulders and um, arms with a slight rotation, okay? Just like you would if you had the rope. One minute. There you go, come on. Woo! All right, pick up your feet. <laughs> pick up those feet. It only works if you pick them up. Jump, get up there. Good work. 45 second countdown. All right. We have our little frogger sit up or a little crunch, okay? Here we go. 30 seconds. And again, you can always take time on and off. So 30 on, 30 off. A minute on, minute off. On this one, with it being odds, just as a coaching point, I would jump one minute, rest a minute, jump a minute. All right, so take that first one as a jump. Do your 30 seconds, 10 seconds here. Three, two, and one. Great job, we're down. 45 seconds here. I'm going all the way up, pulling my feet in. If you can see that from here, pulling it in, touching down. Make it explosive. Draw in tight and explode up. All right, Ooh. work hard and fast. Other take that reverse crunch here. Pull up and down. You can even go through the legs here. Outside, pull over. All right, find something that works for you there. It's all good. Ooh, 15 seconds, that goes quick. Not too bad today. Don't dump that belly, don't let it go. Draw it in, seven seconds. Five, three, two, and one. All right, we're at the peak of our mountain here. Jump squats or squats. 20 seconds of work, followed by those push-ups. We'll have four of each this time, four of each. We're at our mountaintop, we have made it. We're gonna get through it, and we're gonna quickly come right back down. Three, two, and one. Good job, we're down. Push-ups, you've got this all the way to the floor, dead stop. You can do it, okay? Find your knees, find your toes. Here we go, three, two, and one, push. That's it, and push. That's it, push up, kind of back and away from the floor. Draw the navel in. The tighter we are, the less loose we are to our trunk, the more power and push we have to get off the ground. I know it feels like a lot of work, and it is, but if we're wobbly, it makes it harder. All right, back to your squats, air squats, or squat jumps. If you need a sip of water, take it on these 10 second breaks. Three, two, and one, here we go. Otherwise, we're gonna move today. This is gonna be a nice, high energy endorphin workout. We're gonna leave here on top of the world, ready to conquer your day. And I think I might have a little quote for you today. Three, two, and one. Rest, those who don't jump will never fly. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Take some chances, take some chances like this on your workout. Push-ups, here we go. And you are today, and I'm proud of you. All right, try something different. Challenge yourself in a new way. And everything in your life, or here, don't be afraid to try something new. It's not gonna always be perfect at first. It's okay, three, two, and one, rest. All right, we're back up. I even think about me and doing these videos, you know, we're always trying to improve. And if I waited for it to all be perfect, I would not be here two years later still doing this. Okay, however, how many years it will be by the time you see this video. <laughs> all right, we're jumping, we're squatting. Take some chances, it's all right. 
All right, find somebody that will support you. Three, and build you up and encourage you. All right, we're back down. Push-ups all the way down. Enjoy this time on the floor. Three, two, and one. Squeeze tight, draw in. Here we go, push away. Up and back, up and back. That's it. Sometimes we get those arms too far behind us here and we try to push. Bring them up just at the shoulders. Okay, push back and up. All right, there you go. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, I almost made those burpees. <laughs> I bet you're happy I didn't do that. I'm a little happy today. Here we go. Back to our squats or jump squats. I think this is our fourth round here. We'll finish it up. We'll go back into that jump rope. We're gonna finish this peak. We're gonna make it to the top. We're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate coming back down. There you go. Three, two, and one. Great job. Push ups all the way down. Get down to the floor. Enjoy this little mini break. I forgot to take water if you need it. Take it after these push ups. Here we go. Push up, back down. Push. That's it. Tighten up. Draw the navel towards the spine. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the thighs. Push, push those toes in. Unless you're at your knees, that's okay. But even at our knees, we're still squeezing. We're still trying to stay nice and tight. Stiff as a board. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds here. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. We're going right into that jump rope. All right. Here we go. Jump rope. Four minutes. Woo wee. I know. It's tough. I think I remember back in the day, Under Armour came out with an app or they came out with some challenges. And they would post these different challenges and you had to do them and post them on social media to win things. I don't know. It was kind of neat at the time. Probably very new. And one of them was jump rope. How long can you jump rope without messing up? Oh, I tried over and over. I struggled not messing up on that jump rope. Here we go. Keep going. Remember, we're already 45 seconds in. If you want a 15 second break here, take it. Go 45, 15, you know, mix it up. 30 a minute. All right, it's been a minute here in three, two and one. If you need a minute break, take it. Or a 30 second break, take it. Get back to it. Don't fight the rope. An occasional mess up is fine, but if we're fighting it the whole time, I want you to put it down so you can actually feel your cardio here for you. Go to jumping jacks if you want even. You can mix it up between low and high. Run in place, whatever you want to do. Mix it up. Keep moving for me, keep moving. We can do this today, we can. We're already at the top so quickly. And coming back down will go even faster. It's like driving to your destination always feels a little slower than coming back, right? All right. Woo! I know, calves are on fire. I would definitely suggest we will stretch them after this. Foam rolling them as well today. Get your foam roller out. Have somebody massage those calves for you. Two minutes to go. All right, because they're going to be on fire. They're getting work today. Whew, here we go. You got this. Two minutes. I'm skipping, changing it up. Maybe kick it out in front. Whoops, I'm not as good at that. Find something that works today to keep going. In and out, jumping jack. There you go. Have fun with it. I know, my fun is different. I've been reminded of that this whole last week at the gym. Tatum, your fun is just different than my fun. I know, I know. I need it if you want to bring up the intensity. I need it, woo! There you go. All right. We have a minute 15 to go here, team. You're doing awesome. Woo! Good for you for showing up today. Trying out something new. I'm very proud of you, it's not easy. I know. We all have our own little fears and doubts that put up walls, that block us from seeing our full potential, exercising our full potential. 
you might surprise yourself sometimes. And even if it was hard, you keep practicing, you'll get there, right? Have fun with the challenge. 35 seconds to go here. Woo -woo. That's it. If you're enjoying our music, great. If not, you know what we're doing here at this point. Crank it up over there. All right, let your mind go. Keep moving. That's it, 17 seconds. That's it, that's it. This is our highest, this is our longest bout. So you've got it, 10 seconds, and you've done it. Woo, five seconds, oh come on, five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're back down. Froggers, reverse crunch. You can pull over here if you want. You can protect that neck, give it support. Otherwise, we're up. A full minute here, okay? Our longest bout on this as well. Longest interval for sit-ups. You're doing awesome. Nothing better than working to the top and mentally getting to focus on going back down. Shortening those intervals. They'll turn over quickly. This thing will be in and out in no time. There you go. Woo! Just as we reach that peak and we think we can't do it, we're there. And then just knowing that we're coming back down is enough to get us through it. 15 seconds, team. You're doing awesome. All the way up, but we gotta protect that spine. Draw in and up at the navel. Nice and tight here. If not, stay low for me. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right. You know it. Squats or squat jumps. Here we go. Remember on these squat jumps, and I don't think I said it before. On squat jumps, we have to land soft. We have to land with bent knees. So we don't wanna do this and pound our knees, okay? Sometimes we get tired and it's too hard to land in this. You need to go to squat. Rest for down, push up. So if you find yourself too tired to land in that squat, I want squats only. Protect yourself. You wanna be able to move tomorrow. Three, two, and one. Here we go, push and push. Yes, that's it. Tighten up, think strong. There's a lot of mental game in this, okay? It's just tightening up really, it makes you tired thinking about squeezing everything so tight, but it really does help. So keep practicing. Your body will adjust to it, rest. We're back up, 10 seconds if you wanna sip. I already feel like I need to go to the bathroom. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> we'll drink after, here we go. Squat jump, up and down, or squat. You do you, Modify, find your own challenge here today and have fun with it. It's a mindset, it really is. There's a lot of things I don't think that are fun in life, but if you can look at it from a different angle, you can actually get through it, okay? Here we go, we're down. Push-ups again. Remember, we only have three sets of this this time instead of four. Yay, so there you go. Oh, happy day. It's getting better. That's it, come on. For those of you who can do a full push-up, don't push off your thighs. Raise them up, pretend you have a bar under your hips. Keep all of it off the floor and push. You'll feel that stickiness through the chest. All right, nice work. One more to go, team. And we're gonna go into that jump rope. Three, two, and one. Here we go, 20 seconds. Change it up and modify here. Woo, that's it. Think about that walk, how easy it will feel. You're gonna have to add hills to your walk tomorrow because it's just too easy after you've challenged yourself, got out of your comfort zone. Here we go, back down. That's another thing you can do out there. If you're always walking the same uh, route, one, safety-wise, don't walk your same route, same time every day. <laughs> Sorry, I am that person. You take a different route, and a different time. Somebody is watching your patterns though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's terrible, Tatum. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. Oh, think about it. There we go. Push out. Three, two, and one. Take a self-defense class. All right, jump rope's coming up. No, anyways, but find some hills. Go up and down them a few times. Get that heart rate high. Here we go, not too high, but a little bit that you feel challenged, a little uncomfortable. And again, 
I think you should walk every day, several times a day. Short baths, get those steps in. But if walking is your main cardio, add a little variety into it, all right? Go find a trail. Oh, talking about a mind-engaging workout. Trails, walking or running, what's fun? Time just ticks by because that mind, and you can let that mind go of all your worries, all your stress for the day, well, all your checklists, and you can focus on where you're putting those feet, the roots, the beautiful trees around, wildlife, whatever it is, the water, whatever you're, you're on there. There's so much to see. There's so much to focus on. Two minutes here. You're doing great. If you need a rest, take it by all means. Then get back to it. Try to take a little rest. 15 or 30 at, at most. You could take a minute if you're really just getting started. I understand. Oops. I told you as we tire, mistakes happen. <laughs> or maybe if you talk too much. Quiet, Tatum. All right. There we go. Minute 30 to go. We're over halfway there. Nice work. Just two more rounds after this. Hard to believe how quickly this cardio workout has gone. Woo! Oh, who's thinking about their next meal? Can you hear my stomach? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. One minute. All right, that's it, that's it, come on. One minute. Get those shoulders and arms rotating. Ghost ropers. You can move forward and back in your space. If you're there, forward and back. All right, how was the fun here? I didn't even know I could do this. There you go. Skip it forward. I have people who cannot jump rope unless they're skipping and moving forward. I absolutely love those jumpers. So much fun to watch. Standing in place, nope. Moving forward, absolutely. Good. Woo! 17 seconds. We made it this far, we've got it. There you go, keep working, keep working. If you took a break, find us again. Woo! Five seconds. Three, two, and one abs all right 45 seconds of work here team all the way up if you want or just find that little reverse crunch here okay keep your back safe maybe you did these progress with me the whole time you're starting to feel a little pull in that lower back it's getting harder to engage here from the front and draw in stay low stay low you're still working abs it's all good okay you're gonna be safe you're gonna be able to come back in a day or two and not have pain. Okay, 10 seconds, eight, come on. Shoot it up there if you want a little bit more power behind it. Three, two, and one, woo! All right, squat jumps, 20 seconds of work. You got it, let's go. Just two rounds of each, so two squat jumps, two push-ups, yes. Just like that, this is gonna go quick. Two and one, really quick. One's gonna flash by. Woo! That's time, push up. Back down, who's starting to feel those endorphins? If you're not, that's okay. You'll get there. Push ups, three, two, and one. Just keep practicing. The more cardio you have, the more you can recover quickly. You'll start to feel it. It's amazing. Woo, here you go. Push out and away. Come on, come on, make it count. You can do this. Try to keep those hips and thighs off the floor. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, last round here, squat jumps and push-ups on this little set. Three, two, and one. Give me two claps, here we go. Let's see how high we can go. I didn't really focus on that. I really just focused on heart rate, getting off the ground and landing softly, but as we Focus on the finish here. Maybe we see how high we can get. All right, especially if you're a runner, that push off, important. Here we go, push up all the way from the floor. Woo, 
team, how you doing? Let me know in your comments. Three, two, and one. Push back. Here you go. Let me know if you jump roped, if you ghost roped, if you did some other form of cardio during it, or if you would mix it up with something else next time. Let me know. Let's participate a little bit. All right. Three, two, and one. All right. Back to jump rope. Here we go. Two minutes. All right, just two minutes. You can do it. You've made it this far. On this one, maybe 30, 30, 30, 30. 30 on, 30 off. Help times through. If that heart rate is so high that you're unable to talk, it's just too much right now, I understand. Then take your little 30 second break, okay? Please. Bring it back down and bring it back up. All right. Unless you're training for something and you know you need that kind of anaerobic push, really high intensity, go ahead, keep working through it. If you're there, if you're there. Otherwise, it's good to play with that heart. It's okay to bring it up and down. We don't have to stay that high all the time. Some of us have been doing this for a long time. We can talk through it. Or we're training for marathons and triathlons and we, we have that cardio side. Good, one minute, okay, and three, two, and one, one minute. Oh, look at this, there we go. Let me focus, let me focus. I feel it, but we're almost there. We're hanging on, we can do this. 50 seconds. Oh, pick up the feet, pick up the feet. <laughs> pick up the feet, you got it. All right, 40 seconds. Come on team, we made it this far. We're gonna get through this. Bring it through it. Abs, no problem. And then just one minute of each of these. So we can do it, we can do it. 25 seconds. Hang up, hang up, or not, no, hang up. Hang on, <laughs> hang on with me, come on. 18, 15, that's it, mix it up. Skip if you need to, I know those calves are burning. Mine are too, they're feeling it. Eight seconds. That's it, run it out if you need to, skip it. Three, two, and one, lovely. Abs. All right, 30 seconds here, that's it. 30 seconds, you've got it. See how many you can get in here. Try not to slow down. I know, if you're tired, I get it. See what you can do. Make a mental note to try to push a little harder. Even if you're not blowing any faster, just Thinking about it helps you kind of engage with more intensity, right? Three, two, and one. All right. Oh, jump squats. Hey, listen here, easy, easy. One jump squat, one push up for 20 seconds. Not one push up, but one set at 20 seconds. We can do it. Let's see how high we can get. Boom, come on. Get some height. Three, two, and one rest. We're back down, push ups last set today. So if you really do not like push-ups, hey, you did it, you're here. One and done here, here we go, up and down. Push back and away. Draw in tight, squeeze those thighs, squeeze that butt. Push those toes in, yes. Yes, woo! Come on, eight seconds. You got it, you got it, don't give up. Stay mentally strong and tough here. Three, two, and one. Or dig deep. All right. One minute of jump rope, that'll feel like nothing. I'm gonna encourage you to do this as much as you can for the full minute. Here we go, so try not to take any rest. If you have to, that's okay, but make it shorter. 10 seconds at most, maybe. Five to 10 seconds, just to kind of gather yourself and keep going. 45, woo, there we go. I like to do a little four skip and a little four jump. <laughs> There we go. 30 seconds, we're halfway. You have done this today, team. I'm so proud of you. I know it's not easy, but it is my job to challenge you a little bit. Get you out of your day-to-day -day routine. Get you up and moving. Movement, don't make it complicated. Show up and move. Show up and move. Show up to work. Move before you go in. 
show up for lunch, move again, show up for dinner, move again. <laughs> Abs, 30 seconds, let's get down, or 15, we gotta make this quick, here we go. We talked about quick, let's do it now. Ooh. Come on, five seconds, three, two, and one, cool down. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna stay at the floor today. You deserve it. <laughs> Not fill that up enough. All right, hey, high five. Great job, I'm so proud of you. Let's bring it down first with some breathing. Maybe we just open our feet wide and sit here while we breathe, letting our adductors stretch, our inner thighs, our inner legs. Kind of pull the toes back, maybe reach if you're there to your shins. Sit tall, at least stay long in the back for me for now. Let's find that breath. Slow down, inhale through the nose into the belly. Exhale through the mouth. I want you to draw the belly in a little bit, just practicing drawing in and um, bracing and engaging here. So in and out. Pull the navel in and up. Don't tighten up, good, just practice. And through the nose. Out. Good. Back in through the nose, let that belly rise. Great job. See if you can reach those toes now. Go to your shins, wherever you need to be. Let's hold it. Just for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. I'm going to have you bring that left leg in, right leg out. Sit tall again. Turn. Kind of try to square off towards that front leg here. And just reach. You might reach your shins. You might be able to touch those toes. Excuse me, I'm so stuffy. <laughs> oh, goodness. I feel like it's allergies. Sit tall, though, as we do this. So even though I'm reaching for my toes, I'm not going to round out right now. I want you to sit nice and tall. That, that length through our back and down is going to help us feel that stretch in that hamstring. Good job. I do want to do a side bend. Love a good side bend. So stay where you are. Just bring that left arm up and over. Try to pull that lower rib cage up towards your armpit or the ceiling so that we don't round this way. All right, we get that side stretch. Breathe. Oh, that feels good. Reach, maybe look up if you want. Look down. Try and still though to get that rib cage to pull up. Bottom. Here we go. Oh, feels good. Let's switch it now. Right leg in, left leg out again. Get some length, try to reach your head towards the ceiling. Come out over that straight leg. Nice and tall, grab your toes if you want, or your shin. Keep that length in the spine. Oh yeah, pull back. We're gonna, we're gonna release these calves a little bit more. Pulling on these toes helps. If you can't reach that, don't worry. We will get there, we're gonna do some down dog. As soon as this heart rate comes down, we're gonna stretch them out. Yes, yes we are. Good. Now I want you to come out to the side for that side bend. Reach up and over. Again, think about pulling that lower rib, rib cage up. There we go. Ooh, notice the differences on each side. This side is much tougher for me. Who's feeling it? Oh, that's it. Breathe. Breathe. If you cannot find your breath, come out of it a little bit, okay? We want to be able to breathe to relax and let that stretch happen. Oh my goodness. I think I know what's going on here with some other things. Oh, here, I sound like a frog. All right, we have a minute. Let's get these calves stretched a little bit, okay? And we're gonna first start, well, we'll start with downward dog and we'll go back to a half kneeling position here. I'm gonna show you another one. Kind of helps with the ankles too. So here we go. We're gonna push into our hands, shoot that bottom towards the ceiling, push back a little bit, try to get those heels towards the floor. If you're having trouble, you can go wider with your legs and that can help, okay? There we go, push in at the hands here and the knuckles into the shoulders all the way back. Feel that stretch. Oh yeah, now we're gonna, what's called walk the dog. We're gonna bend the toes of our right foot and really push into the left heel. Then we're gonna bend the left toes and I really want you to bend. If those shoes are not allowing you to bend those toes, I would like for you to take your shoes off now 
so that you can bend at the toes. If you find that your toes do not want to bend, oh boy, we need to talk. So we're going to start to roll the bottom of those feet with a tap. Feet? Let's say that. Oh Lord. Feet with a uh, tennis ball or a golf ball. My goodness. Talk about oxygen leaving the brain. Now push back with both heels. That's it. Nice work. All right, that's 45 minutes just like that. I had a few other things to cool you down with, but that's all we're going to do today. I don't want to keep you much longer. I know we're all very busy. I really appreciate you showing up here today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Spread the word. We really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.